servant of the Lord. And it said in this place, Moda Dramadvi, in the Treta Yuga, Lord Ramachandra came here when he was in exile with Sita and Lakshman. And they came here and they enjoyed the beauty of this Moda Dramadvi. We came along the road, but in the Treta Yuga, there were none of these villages, you know, it was more forests and there were also wild animals and different things, but it's very natural. So Lord Ramachandra was here with Mother Sita and Lakshman and Lord Ramachandra at one particular point, he was observed by Mother Sita that he was sitting smiling to himself. He was sitting under a big banyan tree which grows here in Moda Dramadvi. It's no longer manifest, but in the times of Lord Rama, there was this huge banyan tree. And Lord Rama was sitting under the banyan tree, and he was sitting, Mother Sita could see, he was smiling to himself. So she asked him that, you know, what are you thinking? What's in your mind? And Lord Rama explained to Mother Sita, he said, you know, I'm thinking how in the future I will incarnate here in the Kali Yuga as Lord Goranga in my most merciful incarnation. And in this incarnation, I will distribute freely love of God to everyone through the chanting of the Holy Name. And he went on to explain to Mother Sita that in, this in that incarnation you will be my wife. But at the age of 24 I will renounce the world and I will take the renounced order of life and I will leave home. <laughs> so Mother Sita heard this she said, Oh, you're smiling about this. You're going to leave me. Why? What's the purpose of that? So Lord Rama then explained to her that we can experience love in two ways. One is in Samboga, in union, and the other is in Vipralamba, separation. When there is separation, then there is more pleasure in the Samboga. When one is separate from the object of one's love, then that love, the attachment, increases. And then there's much more pleasure in that union. So, in order to allow you to experience more love, I will both separate. I will take sannyas. So Lord Ramachandra was experiencing this. He was here in Treta Yuga and he was remembering, thinking how in this Kali Yuga Lord Chaitanya would come here and he would dance here and perform Sankirtan and he would distribute love of God to everyone. So just nearby we have the temple of Saranga Thakur and in that temple is also the deities of Vasudev Datta. Now Vasudev Datta was a very, very intimate associate of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It is Lord Chaitanya described Vasudev Datta as being the incarnation of Prahlad Maharaj. And Chaitanya Charitamrita describes how on a particular occasion when Vasudev Datta and other devotees from Navadvip had gone to Puri to observe Rathiyatra and to also associate with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So after taking the association of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the devotees were preparing to go, at that time, they came to get the blessings from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And it said at that time, on one particular occasion, Vasudev Datta 
came before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and requested him that let me take all the sinful reactions of all these conditioned souls and let them all be delivered. I will stay here and suffer for their sins. Vasudev Datta was feeling compassion on all of the conditioned souls and he begged Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, let me take the reactions for, for them and let them all be delivered. Prabhupada, or rather Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati Thakur describes in his purport in this section of the Chaitanya Charitamrita that a personality like Vasudev Datta is more magnanimous than even Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ died for the sins of his followers, but he did not deliver them. He he delivered, he freed them from their sins, but he didn't deliver them. Vasudev Datta didn't just only want the people to be freed from their sins, he wanted them to be liberated, to go back to Godhead. And Vasudev Datta wanted to give his bless. he wanted to take the sins for everyone, not just for some followers, not for just those who have faith in him, but for everyone. He said, let every living entity be delivered. So when Lord Chaitanya heard this, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's body began to shake, began to quiver in ecstatic love, and he trembled and tears came from his eyes. He felt so much pleasure in hearing this desire of Vasudev Datta. Then the Chaitanya Charitamrita goes on to describe how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Vasudev Datta that you don't have to stay here for their sins. Krishna says, if Krishna himself will deliver these people from their sins because you desire them to be delivered, Lord Krishna wants to fulfill the desires of his devotees. All of their sinful reactions will be taken away. They will all be delivered by the mercy of Krishna. You don't have to stay here and suffer for them. That is not required. Then Lord Chaitanya went on to give three different examples how it is true that Vasudev Datta didn't have to be didn't have to stay here and suffer for the conditioned souls. Mahaprabhu tells, first of all, he said, just like an Udambara tree, Udambara tree has millions of tiny fruits on it. So if one fruit goes missing, if one fruit is lost from the tree, it's not a big problem for that tree because there are countless other fruits on the tree. Then he gave the example, just like if you have a bag of mustard seeds and you lose one mustard seed, what is the loss? One tiny mustard seed from a bag of mustard seeds. There are so many seeds. You lose one seed, you don't worry about it. And the third example, he said, just like one may have a big herd of Kamadenu cows and he has one billy goat. So if you lose a goat, you have, a, you have already so many Kamadenu cows, you don't worry about one little billy goat. Not important. In the same way, the Lord is not worried about one universe. If one universe is delivered, it's not a problem for him. He's not worried about it. There are so many other universes in the causal ocean. So in this way, Lord Chaitanya told Vasudev Datta how he was so much pleased with him, desiring the deliverance of all living entities. And at that time he told him, you are the incarnation of Prahlad Maharaj. And it, it said that Lord Chaitanya used to say, I have given my life to 
Vasudev Tata. I sell myself to Vasudev Tata. He has purchased me by his devotion. So he was one of the very intimate associates of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Do you like our ad-free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day, and don't forget to like and share our channel.